Almost every summer I stumble across a very peculiar occurrence of almost always the same species of insect. These spiders just laying there almost dead but not quite. And today I'm going to be exploring the sinister creature that is behind this incident. This may look like just another wasp but this is no ordinary insect. The creature that we're going to be exploring is the black spider wasp and we should be having a look at how brutal and beautiful nature can be. This species of wasps use a special venom to paralyze its prey, spiders, so they may be stored and used to feed its young. The reason why these wasps paralyze their prey rather than simply killing the spider is so the food for their young stays fresh for as long as possible. Unfortunately for the orb weaver spider, they seem to be the preference for this merciless task. Once the spider has been paralyzed and is no threat, the wasp positions the spider under its body, holding it with its legs and abdomen so it may take the spider on a once in a lifetime trip with no return ticket. As we can see here in an old vacant nest, each wasp creates a vast collection of chambers to store each bundle of spiders with their offspring. Each one of those chambers, which is considerably larger than the wasp itself, is crafted out of damp mud or earth which has been collected from water holes which can be very sparse thanks to the hot dry Australian summer and may be up to even hundreds of meters away. But luckily for the spider wasp, humans are very fond of creating areas where water may be stored, such as this cattle grid which also provides an oasis for a variety of creatures, such as this small frog which has sought refuge from the hot sun. But unfortunately, sometimes not all creatures are lucky enough or fast enough to find a water source before they become a mummified victim of the burning sun. Here we can see the spider wasp collecting a small portion of building material down a hole, each load collected only contributing to a small fraction of one single chamber. This miniature mining pit has been solely dug out by the spider wasp, which gives some perspective to the huge amount of earth these creatures move. Once the spiders are collected, the wasp lays live young onto the back of the prey, and the offspring will consume the spider and then pupate in a silk egg sac. In these nests, there is already a rather large brittle egg sac, which may be from last season's young which may imply that these nests are reused sometimes. Each housing contains two to five spiders per egg sac, which the single larvae will consume once they have hatched. And once this twisted bed and breakfast chamber is completed and sealed off, the process begins once again. Although sometimes the spiders that were intended for the B&B &B can be a little too heavy to keep a hold of and end up feeding something other than its intended customer, Inside of the egg sac we find a bright yellow chubby looking grub, which I assume would pupate after consuming the spiders, maybe for next season's hatch. It really is remarkable what nature can produce. This black spider wasp is arguably the most complex bug I've ever come across, with its ability to paralyze spiders with its tailored venom without becoming the prey itself, how it can mine and build a mud house for its offspring, and the sheer strength it has to be able to carry both the spiders and the building material up to hundreds of meters. This really is an amazing creature. This was a production by Toglism on YouTube. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this bug video, you might like these ones too, and maybe consider subscribing. See ya.